Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Juva Peltoma. Uh, the topic of my lecture is all about sexual interco intercourse, and I'm sure you all want to rush in and do the intercourse itself. But it's never a good idea. Not in real life, not on stage. <clears throat> so I will give you pretty much background before rushing into the act itself. Uh, I started my career actually as a pop star in Finnish Raptori uh, band. Sorry. Uh, Raptori was the most popular band in Finland for three years, and I still cannot shake that background, even though it was in Soviet era. Everyone always brings it up, so I decided I will tell it myself. A bit like, hello, I'm Jufa Peltova, and I'm an alcoholic. Uh, next, I went to the advertising, an advertising agency, the biggest advertising agency in Finland back at the time. Uh, it was wonderful, but it was lacking a bit technology, so I actually imported virtual reality headsets um, during nighttime to Finland. Uh, the year was 1995, and, and they were pretty crappy. But th that's how I met actually the guys from Hybrid Graphics, and I was one of the co-founders of Hybrid Graphics. Uh, we did graphics technology and sold the company with 37 million dollars uh, to NVIDIA in 2006. It was wonderful. Uh, next, I co-founded Zen Robotics. It's an AI and robotics company, uh, still going strong. I have left the board uh, two years ago, so I'm not sure of the details, but I have heard that they just sold to Japan and US and Australia, so I bet it's going really well. At least I hope, because I'm a shareholder. Uh, now, my latest trick is called Immersal. It's an augmented reality company. Uh, I'm not allowed to pitch here, of course, like race around. That, that would be un unethical, so I, I will not do that during this presentation. Okay, background. Uh, AR versus VR. What's the difference? What's, kind of, what's the ballpark of these revolutions? I would say that usually uh, people are talking about that VR is a bit like tabletop PC. It will hit you hard and it will change things and all that, but still you cannot carry it with you, so it's not going to be kind of totally huge. Uh, AR, however, is compared usually to mobile devices. Hey, but then you got the mobile phone and it really, really revolutionized the whole, whole area of, of uh, communication. But actually, I, I, I have found a better analo analogy in uh, 4 billion eyeglasses. We have 4 billion eyeglasses. I googled this, you best believe me. Uh, on this planet, and uh, for example, I have worn this, uh, these eyeglasses since morning and I haven't even noticed them. So you have no reason uh, at all to kind of refuse from using a AR. So it's going to be huge, it's going to be everywhere later on with contact lenses or, or I don't know, uh, spinal chips or whatever. Uh, however, I'm not downplaying VR. It's a really cool tool for something. You, from time to time you always want to wear a back on your head and kind of uh, be in the dark and so on. So let's cherish uh, the thought of VR. However, for the rest of my presentation, I will totally forget it. Okay, the vision. By the way, we have a strict rule in our company. We are not allowed to use anything except very cheap stock photos. So I'm sorry for some of the photos. Uh, our vision of the AR revolution to come is pretty different what, uh, than what most of people consider. Most con people consider like AR is going to be like. Usually, it's always you have a business card on the table, then you look at it with your phone, and there's the dancing cow or jumping dwarf, and you're like, "Whoa!" But it's not there. But it is there, and it's all fine and dandy. I'm not downplaying it either but it cannot be the future of AR. And when you think about the future of AR, my kind of hypothesis is that it's going to be uh, mind-blowing. You will have as many layers of AR all around you uh, as you have now web pages. So you will have hundreds of millions of layers of AR all around you. Uh, you, you will have uh, uh, indoor navigations and your friend, friend's locations and satellites and what have you, whatever you need, uh, you, you will have it. The problem, however, uh, will be how to make a UX out of this mess. And I think the winner uh, of all companies will be the one who can curate this nicely to end users. And uh, 
I cannot pitch here, so I'm not saying if, if there is such a company who's doing actually starting already this curating and, and kind of a sucking in the content, maybe there is some startup, maybe it starts with an eye. The company in question, totally hypothetical, would have to learn the whole end user's life with AI, with deep learning, with maybe some technologies that we don't even know about yet. Uh, it will have to kind of uh, predict that, hey, during working hours, Jack don't want to watch porn, no graphic material so much and whatnot. Uh, uh, then uh, one really important question is, who puts up the whole uh, Markham stuff, whole kind of advertising system in the AR world. Again, I, I have one guess, but I, I need to shut up at this point. In its uh, kind of final vision, this company, and I'm not naming any company, could actually, for example, auction the airspace of New York. It would have uh, uh, all the kind of uh, possibilities to fill our planet with whatever stuff it wants. And obviously for my wife, the New York's airspace, let's say that uh, uh, we will put, oh, sorry, uh, this hypothetical company will put it on sale and say it will cost 10 euros, the whole airspace for New York this weekend, except if someone pays a bit more, then we'll see where, the, where it settles. And actually for my wife, it would probably look something like this, and that potion would be really, or whatever, uh, perfume would be really expensive and, and stuff like that. But... For me, the system would have, uh, it knows my life, it knows that my power drill just kind of broke. It saw the smoke com coming out of it, and for me, it would look like this. Uh, okay, AR headsets, where are they right now? Uh, kind of, I tried to dig around, and there, there's lots of information and really difficult analysis, and, and it's... Uh, I would say just that it's almost impossible to tell whether or not the revolution has started. Are they there? Are they here yet? But I have a really easy way to check this. And do you know how it's done? Like this. No, it hasn't started yet. So what about AR content? We, we have some AR content going on, for example, Pokemon Go and stuff like that. But the truth is that, for example, Pokemon Go players turn off the AR from, uh, from the game uh, because it uh, drains so much battery and it makes the playing hard and so on. So it's a good publicity trick, but as such, uh, the AR is not here right now. Uh, okay, then about the long wait. By the way, this... Uh, photo uh, came when I uh, searched Twitter with the words long wait. I have no idea why the girl is sitting on the rail. Uh, I call this whole situation the industry freeze. No one is doing currently anything. Everyone is waiting. Everyone has some excuse uh, not to do anything. I'm waiting for the headsets and what about when the tracking gets better and uh, my friend told me that some killer apps are coming next Tuesday and whatnot. And, uh, it's just kind of people are, aren't brave enough currently to do anything with the stuff that we have at hand and the poor girl is probably going to die out of boredom. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Okay, what, what can we actually do right now? We can uh, use phones, we can use pads. There's enough, enough processor uh, um, power in them, uh, the kind of displays are good enough, etc. We can use visual markers. They look like something from 80s when you post this barcode, like uh, visual markers all around buildings, but still you can do it. And actually, uh, one hypothetical company uh, uh, is currently using phones and visual markers and is piloting its system with this particular venue, uh, actually with Messukeskus Helsinki, that's this conference center. And uh, what, we, uh, what this company is doing is uh, uh, revenue sharing, like all the uh, exhibitors want to put up ads, why not AR ads? and uh, taking revenue share from there. So it, it's going to be fun. I'll show you a hypothetical video of what it could look like uh, right now. Someone is calling me, I'll, get, I'll check who it is. Okay, here we go. It's someone from abroad, I will not take it. They might speak English. Okay, so we can add any content right now uh, to 
everywhere in the lobby. You, you are welcome to watch our demo later on. Uh, we can send messages. I didn't come up with anything else, so I wrote message. Uh, lack of imagination is horrifying. Still, you can share messages in that space, and, and it's a real 3D space. You can walk around it and so on. We have in we have indoor navigation, so you can click on any any X-ray object anywhere in distance, and you can find out uh, where it is and how to get there. For example, that's the downstairs toilet, and you can see okay down the escalator, and there it is. Also, currently we can kind of steer people all around the facility. We can create these routes, walk here and, and collect some coins. And, and uh, this is very good because in exhibition centers, uh, all the booths are very happy when we direct people to them. And when you collect enough those coins, it already says level up, but it doesn't do anything else. Okay, We're working on it. We There's a nice spaceship. You can get uh, additional information by clicking on it. So uh, this can be basically any, any animated object and, and of course also the interactivity can be any, anything you want. There's our friend company Umbra uh, and also some of our investors such as Presence Capital and Reactor Ventures. Uh, collecting money is really good for your soul. I got in free and I'm drinking. Just look at the tracking. I have dreamed of this. We have also some new dancers dancing on the ceiling and a disco ball, which is important. Just to say that not everything has to look really realistic. And then again, one more message. Thank you very much. So what about AR headsets and life? Uh, they will uh, hugely impact the way we look at aesthetics. Currently we are thinking of maybe we can do this with gypsum or maybe not, and we can totally forget about those things. Architecture will be totally different because we don't have to have high buildings because we can draw the upper part and, and so on. So it will be funky. Uh, Space-time continuum. Uh, you can probably rewind like, I don't like this audience. Okay, last year's audience looks better, so it will be kind of a, I don't know, I don't much like you, sorry. Uh, <coughs> space, you can float around, uh, AR will become VR eventually when you have enough of it, so I could float away from this stage, which would be nice. Privacy is going to be a huge thing if you augment your wife or husband during the intercourse. Probably you don't want everyone to know how, or maybe you want, I don't know you personally. You will have superpowers, you can move objects, you can see through walls, you can uh, travel faster than light and so on. You, it will be just kind of uh, amazing. Headsets and investment round, so AR and inv investment round. There are many companies like Immersal looking for seed round. I'm not talking about specifically Immersal, but if you know a good investor, please introduce these investors to those companies. And I would strongly also, I'm a lecturer, so I know what I, uh, I'm saying here, I would strongly suggest that investors do invest in those companies. Okay, then our hot topic. Let's ru rush to this. Uh, I would need a volunteer here. No one? This one. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, you, you, you look nice. Please come here. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Nora. How nice. You, yeah. Okay, so Nora. Uh, puts the headset on and we will actually try these things. It's, well, we cannot maybe try everything, but we can get the basics right. Okay, can I, can I uh, first try to kind of approach you from front? That was probably a yes. <laughs> Trump told me. Okay, fa face this way. Free okay, now I will try. <laughs> Didn't go well. Uh, can I uh, do the same thing from behind? 
Ja s- it was better, but, but it, like, I, I don't, um, yeah. Of course, it's not only the sexual or- organs you can use, so. Okay, so now we have done, thank you, Nora, you can remove the, we have done pretty deep analysis of the situation here. You can give applause to Nora. Totally random volunteer. Also my wife. So now that the analysis has been done, uh, you can follow this part of the screen. This is a bit complicated situation, so, but there's much data that appears there, but if you really pay attention, I think you're fast enough to grasp it. So what's that blank area there? Can AR headsets currently be used during, during a sexual intercourse? Are you ready? Are you ready? You still suck. Are you ready? Okay, now it comes. Be prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.